This is an exciting day because it's the first reader that your student will have with words. So as we start this reader, we're going to start out by just looking at the picture on the page. And I'll ask discussion questions. Then I'll give your student a purpose for reading. For example, on this page, I might say something like, uh, read this sentence to yourself to find out what Hopscotch sees. Then I'm going to ask your student to read the sentence silently, not out loud. Now, at first, children will often whisper or move their lips, and that's okay. This silent reading time gives them a chance to exercise their decoding and reading comprehension muscles, and it might be slow at first. So, I told your student to read silently to find out what Hopscotch sees. So, after reading silently, I'll say, what did Hopscotch see? Now, at this point, I want your kindergartner to just answer in his or her own words, like they might say, a flower or a purple flower. I'm not looking for the entire sentence to be read at this point. Then, after we discuss the flower and discuss that just a little bit, then we'll read the sentence out loud. So it will be, it is a flower. Then after reading, we'll do some predicting about what will happen next. What do you think Hopscotch is going to see next on his walk through the yard? Well, in this reader and the next, I'm going to give time in the lesson for your student to read silently. But beginning with reader five, I'm going to add this slide. This will show what sentence is to be read silently. And I'll say to pause the program if more time is needed for reading. Just a reminder that your student should be reading from the reader and not reading off the screen. Now, in our next reader, in Reader 4, I'm going to be using the dotty reading marker. You will find this in the phonics and review cards. Now, this is to be placed above the sentence that we're reading, like this. Later, when we read more than one line at a time, this method will allow us to develop the habit of automatically sweeping our eyes down and to the left to the next line of type. So as you read the reader with your kindergartner, I would encourage you to practice the words at the end of the reader before you start reading. So again, at the very end is the words at work page. So read these splash words or high frequency words here. And then any word family words on the page. If you go through those words first and then start the reader. And then just a reminder to check out that reading guide at the front of the reader and especially that focus section there will be a help to you. That'll give great tips for you as you assist your student with the reader. Now again, you can set the pace for the reader, so if you need to slow down, it's okay. You know your student best.